people of America, people around the globe, people in Africa, people in Australia, people in Europe, people in Asia, people in South America, people in even Antarctica, and people around anywhere in the entire world. Welcome to a special edition of AJ42K Productions. I am your host, AJ42K. Here's the thing I want to tell everybody, and I want to say this because I've had enough, and I want to say this God honest truth for the last time, everything that I've wanted to say. Men are not women. Women are not men. You cannot be both. You cannot be neither. You, anyone who's a transgender, is not a real man and not a real woman. You're a human, but you're not a real woman or a real man. You chose to change your sex to be man to woman or woman to man. If you're a hermaphrodite, that's natural, but it's super rare. I can't help you from there. But that's not transgender either. That's naturally born with both a penis and vagina. Nothing more on that. If you are in a sport and you're a trans man in my sport, I will ex- not allow that at all. At all. You can be in my sport, but you're not qualified to get, to get into my to my realm of prizes or cash or awards, medal, trophy, whatever. The reason why Caitlyn Jenner didn't somehow get disqualified was because he changed his sex 50 years after it ha- after he won the decathlon as a man, natural born man. He didn't become a woman until 2015. That was 50 years after, if not longer, more longer than that. Well after 76 or 72, whatever it was. 76, I apologize. The point of the matter is I'm trying to say is this. You are not, men are not women, women are not men. You, and if you're transgender, you're neither one of us. You're still human, but you're not neither one of the two. Trans man is not man, trans woman is not woman. You want to do that, go ahead. I'm not telling you what to not do and not do, but you're not going to be in my sport. You can be in sports, you can, be, you can make a transgender category. Heck, Chicago Marathon already just did that. <laughs> Thanks, Chicago Marathon. You did the right thing, because that's common sense. Second. Anyone who's in the Me Too movement and is triggered of anything and everything needs to grow the F up. Grow the F up because that's I'm done with your attitudes. You have became more sexual harassment and rape in the workplace to more like to anything and everything's a trigger. Harassment, sexual harassment, rape, molestation, anything and everything triggers you. You joke about rape, yet you watch a movie about it, but you don't like people joking about rape or some other people doing rape. So who are you to judge, you hypocrites? You don't like being raped, yet you watch a woman with 50 shades of gray who who gets raped by a surprisingly big guy from gray or whatever the heck, 50 shades of gray. And yet you say real men don't rape? Well, real men... You're right. I'll give you credit for that. Real men don't rape, but real women don't joke about rape. You don't want to be raped? Don't joke about it. Don't watch a movie about it. Because if you like to joke about it, yet somehow you don't like being raped, who are you to judge, you hypocritical woman? And men, you're not any better either. Don't get me wrong. There's more women that joke about rape than men. Don't get me wrong. I don't joke about that. Never have I joked about that. But yet the hypocrites don't like to be raped, which makes sense. I understand. Rape is illegal. It is not allowed by anyone. But yet you women and some men... Go watch Fifty Shades of Grey and laugh about it. And then joke about it. Who are you to judge, woman? Because that's why women don't get respected, unfortunately. Do I hate that? Yes. Does that amuse me? Never. That saddens me. You women are just as hypocritical as us men. And yet the men you date typically are douchebags. You don't see it because he thinks he, oh, I can only, you're only going to talk to me, not any other woman. You, if if he's going to control you where to work, where to go, whatever. You know what, women? That's who you are going after. Typically, typically. Not all men who are straight and single are looking for everyone that has a pussy. That's me. I'm not looking for all pussy. There's some women that I don't like and that I would never fuck or let alone marry either. Forgive me for my French. But here's the thing, women. You go after the biggest dick, the ones with the most money, the ones that really look like Ryan Ryan Runs, but somehow you glorify a guy that likes to pussy grab someone that you voted for. Oh, 
Huh, hypocritical much? Don't get me wrong, Biden ain't any different either. Biden's a giant deuce, Trump's a dirt sandwich. You both suck. I voted for Tulsi Gabbard, and I'm glad I did. Oh, and by the way, speaking of Tulsi Gabbard, she went from Republican to Democrat and then back to Democrat to Republican. Why don't you look it up since you don't know that? Speaking of this Democrat, I'm now a nonpartisan, and rightfully so because of this garbage. And to everyone that's rich and privileged, you really worked your ass off to get what you're on? Bullshit. Because boys to men, I know did. They went from rags to riches. You rich people, whether you're white, black, blue, green, Asian, Arab, whatever the hell you are, you all didn't get work your ass off. I know all of you did not work your ass off to get what you are today. Because I know your family has so much inheritance, was so prideful and privileged, gave you the company themselves. Don't get me wrong. There's some rich people that I know one of them is my friend that works his ass off to get where he's at. And he's not even black. He's not even Hispanic. He's white. To that friend, thank you because you proved me right about you. You proved me right about that. But that's just one example. And boys to men is a whole different, I know, that's the type of people you think. This man who is white, my friend Ryan, thanks Ryan, he did not work. He, it was rich, grew up rich, don't get me wrong. But he still works his ass. He has owns two companies and he does work his ass off even as an owner of the two companies. Congrats to Ryan. Thanks, Ryan, for that. But he, that's just one of very few. The rich people that I know, there's three types of rich. Rags to riches, rich and works your ass off and was born rich and still works your ass off, of course. And the ones that are wealthy that never had to work a single time in their life like daddy's little boy or girl like Trump or whatever or the Koch brothers or Bill Gates or Elon Musk or whatever. And they had to, and they had all these pussies they want to dick ride on and, or dick ride at him or her, whoever the F. Rich, privileged people, you have no respect whatsoever unless you did work your ass off to get what you are today. My friend Ryan, boys to men and many more to count Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan, the list goes on. Those are the very few that did work their ass off to get where they are today. As for you wealthy mofros, eat your fucking shit. You would never give a shit unless it was your family that you suffered. You have more money than half of the than over 99% of the people that work their asses off every stinking day trying to get a job and you tell us everybody's hiring BS. To all Republicans and Democrats, not everybody's hiring. There are more places closing down in the last three months than any time in the last 30 years. Yes, don't get me wrong. It's not the worst year for, for economy and stuff. Don't get me wrong. But 2020 and 2008 say it all. 2020, there was 100,000 companies nationwide that shut their doors for good. You can ask Lester Holt on that. Why don't you research that? Republicans, Trump... Feminazis, Democrats, Republicans, rich people, poor people. And to you people that are feminazis, get this booger ring or clitoris. Oh, all men suck and all this shit out of your fucking head. You women that would do this are the biggest pussies ever. And to transgenders, you are not a real woman or a real man. You're human. Don't get me wrong. You are not what you are. You want to do that, go ahead. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but just because I don't support you does not mean I'm a fucking transphobe. Phobia, the fear of, not against. Racist, sexist, that is an ist, not a phobia. Phobia, the fear of, not against. You feminazis are the biggest uneducated pussies on the world. And it's not just women who are feminazis, men are too. But the ratio is 8.5 to 1, women. Women, you need to learn to get educated, and men, you do too. Just because you are transgender does not mean I have to respect you. I'm autistic. Should I get respected? Should I be granted respect? You know that's not how it works, because more people glorify anyone with a fucking sex change than people who are disabled, no matter if it's autism or not. You, by far, America, are the worst people. And no wonder most of the, the world hates us. Go figure. And this is the one thing I hate about any president from the time then to the time now. This is the biggest one you all will learn. And this is a fucking fact. We help out every third rate country 
for the last God knows how many long, for any problem they have, tsunami, hurricane, earthquake, whatever, Fukushima, Thailand, Grenada, Europe, France, Belgium, can I name any more? And yet we somehow cannot help ourselves with Maria, with Katrina, with Andrew, with Fiona, with Ian, with Wilma. Can I name any more? Francis. When we have a disaster, nobody gives a rat's ass. But when any country has a disaster, like Ukraine, the biggest one right now, you give so many billion dollars to fucking Ukraine. I understand Ukraine needs our help. And I understand Ukraine is on our side. But let them fight for themselves. We have more people in poverty now than anywhere, any country that has much of their stuff. If you're American, help us all. No matter our, our, all of our disagreements. And yet we can be a better country. But you Democrats glorify anyone, even a tree fucker, while you Republicans can't let go of fucking Donald Trump. You both deserve no respect. And you both are pussies. That's all I have to say. Get educated, you motherfuckers, because you lack it. Goodbye. And viva la fuck off.